So what I wanted to show you was the PDF tool. So if I click on PDF, this is a very professional way for you to send quotes or information or previews to your customers. And not only that, it's a way for you to keep track and record. So for the future, when they order again, you know exactly how to produce an identical piece. This is good for corporate. So first things first is you wanna browse and put your logo. So just click on browse and add your logo. The second thing is you wanna add fields. So you customize this. So for example, you might say PO number. You might wanna add burn time in minute. And you might wanna add the laser station and finally the quote. If I save these settings, it's gonna save these fields. So every time I generate a PDF, it's always going to have these fields. And if I want to change it, I can always X out or add new ones. So PO number one, two, three, four, five. In this case, burn time in minutes. Let's say that the burn time was 15 minutes. And let's say that for this particular customer, I charge $8 a minute. So do the math. What's $8 a minute? The quote is 120. And the laser station is you're all going to grow. If you're expecting to stick with one laser, that's a bad goal. You're serious about your business. You want to grow your business. So don't expect to rely on just one laser. You should already be forecasting having multiple lasers. We don't sell lasers, so I'm not here to promote selling lasers. I am very open to share the lasers that we use, which are the 3D laser box. And if you want information on that, reach out to Lawrence. He can send you more info on the different models that we use here. But it's a fantastic laser for many reasons laser station. So let's say that you're running a dozen lasers. So what laser did you use to burn this? Because sometimes there are slight variations between lasers and you want to make sure that you're going to burn this project in the future again on the same laser. So this is just an example of fields. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the preview. So what do I want to add? Do I want to add the scene shot or the point cloud view? Maybe both. So let's do the layout front save. Let's add also the front point cloud view, which is what we see here. Save. Let's also add the left point cloud view. Save. So I've got three views here. And now what I can do is I can save this PDF and send it. Before I do that, I just want to view the PDF on view. So you can see that on the layout view, actually, it's not good to do it on a white background. So you might want to change that or you might not want to use it in this particular case but you can see the point cloud view is good. So I'm gonna go back. Customer doesn't need to see my working scene view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that one there. And there we go. It, it automatically scales it. It positions it properly on the page. And now you've got all your information here and it automatically puts the date as well.